Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever Sedali Weekly Recap. This is a series where I go over what has happened in the past week in the Sedali Gaming Network. First off, let's begin with the Let's Play featuring Matt, Hope, Ags, Garth and Carmelia. They bring guests along for a couple of Let's Plays every so often, so hopefully you'll get to see every staff member in there. Secondly, in our weekly staff meeting we spoke briefly about staff having coloured text or a staff mode command that would colour our text for us. What do you guys think about having staff coloured all the time or do you reckon we should just use colour codes? Let us know in the comments below. Now, as some of you may know, we have player suggestion books in New Leaf and Boardwalk. We go through those every week and talk about what players have wanted. Firstly, donors get slash craft. Now, we didn't agree with this because we think it uh, breaks the EULA, so that won't be happening. 2. Fuse all server cities into a big city slash warp. Uh, we took this two ways, incorporate all the different fields of the cities into a big one, or we move all the cities into one giant city. Now, the latter would be very laggy, have you been to New Leaf lately? That combined with the dare would be very bad. Plus, how will we get Atlantis there? Let us know what you think. 3. An iron cash cube or rentable iron golem farm. We agreed that the All Laws was good enough for this. 4. Mob Arena. If this is what we thought, a gladiatorial fighting ring with custom mobs and onlookers, that would be great, we'd love that. Number 5. A casino or a lottery. This is a long time project of ours and it's going through different stages at the moment. I don't know when we could see something like this, but we've always liked the idea. Um, sixthly, we had semi-auto farms sold at Warp Realty. Uh, this could be done, we could sell parts in a deed. Seven, staff coloured chat in global. Uh, this was a player's suggestion, so I thought it was worth noting that a player actually wanted this, not staff. Um, but we have already gone over this before. Number eight, we had a uh, tree feller mod. Uh, this is something we would like to do, but our developers and Preston would have to go over that. Oh look, it's snowing. Hi, <laughs> so pretty. Ah, oh, felt good. We think it would be a nice addition if it doesn't lag the server out and serves the purpose well. Now, uh, let's get on to the exciting things that involve you. Would you like to see your prized house that you spent 100 plus hours on in a new style crib kind of series that I'll be doing? Um, I'd like to talk to some of you and, you know, if you would like to be featured or give me a tour or something, we could do that. Um, I would either film the house for you and do a narrative over it or we could go on TeamSpeak or something and you could give me a tour that way. Just some more serious news. Um, at the staff meeting, I, True Strike, Twisted Form, got promoted to the owner rank and I wanted to let everyone know what this means. On Minecraft, nothing will change. As head admin, I had all the available powers of an owner anyway. Um, it does change the YouTube side of things. Uh, that's what I'm going to be in charge of. Megan will run Final Fantasy. Preston will run Minecraft and the server. They both own Sedali. I don't own it. But... I do own the YouTube side of things, so that makes me an owner. I own part of the Sedali Gaming Network, but obviously those two still own it. So I hope that alleviates any questions you have. Um, uh, we also have a segment called Pun of the Week, and uh, this one is suggested by Scarf, and it is... What are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've all learned a little bit about what's going on in the past week. Uh, I hope you have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.